Like a writhing dragon's tail, the Great Wall of China snakes its way across China's northern border. As its name suggests, the Great Wall is an imposing architectural marvel, and it's often hailed as one of the greatest man-made wonders of the world. The Great Wall of China's history stretches back more than 2,000 years. Despite its cultural and historic importance, it wasn't until 1987 that the Great Wall of China was listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. 1. Where is the Great Wall of China? The Great Wall of China is easily accessible from Beijing, though the massive structure stretches from Shanheguan in the east all the way to the city of Jiayuguan, in the country's northwest. Generally speaking, the Great Wall of China defends the country's northernmost border. A 2012 archaeological survey estimated that the wall, taking into account all the dynasties that had worked on the structure, crosses 15 provinces and extends from Xinjiang, in the northwest, to the border of Korea in the east. 2. How long is the Great Wall of China? If you were to measure all the sections ever built, some reports suggest the Great Wall of China could be a staggering 13,170 miles long. The most popular, and arguably the most beautiful, section was erected during the Ming Dynasty, and runs for 5,500 miles between Hushan to the Jiayuguan Pass. Even if you only take into consideration the main line length, about 2,150 miles, of the wall not including branches and spurs it s still the record holding longest wall in the world. For those wondering how tall the Great Wall of China is, the general answer is that the structure's height varies considerably, from 15 feet all the way to 39 feet. 3. When was the Great Wall of China built? It's hard to say precisely when the Great Wall of China was built, as so many dynasties and rulers contributed to its construction. Some 20 states and dynasties contributed to the construction of the Great Wall of China over the course of millennia. It's thought that the first lengths of the wall were built as early as 771 BCE, though official work didn't begin until 220 BCE, during the reign of Emperor Qin Shi Huang. Most of what remains today that 5,500-mile stretch was built during the Ming Dynasty, between 1368 and 1644. 4. Why was the Great Wall of China built? Originally built as a wartime defense, the Great Wall of China features many towers and passes. When Emperor Qin Shi Huang first proposed the so-called Long Wall, it was meant to defend the Chinese states against nomadic tribes from the north. During the Han Dynasty, the Great Wall was extended to protect the Silk Road trade. The Ming Dynasty is known for not only extending the Great Wall, but also repairing and reinforcing existing structures. 5. How was the Great Wall of China built? Despite its name, the Great Wall is actually a collection of fortifications, some of which run parallel to one another, while others are circular or sidewalls. There are even portions of the Great Wall that are natural barriers, like rivers or high mountains. Hundreds of years before any official construction on the Great Wall began, individual Chinese states built fortifications against one another, using mostly earth, wood, and stones. Construction during the Ming Dynasty made use of bricks rather than cut stone, which appears largely in the foundation and gateways. More than a million soldiers, commoners, prisoners, and animals were recruited to help build the wall. Hundreds of thousands of men died while working on the wall, which required them to carry heavy materials on their backs up to the top of the ridgelines. There are rumors that many of the dead were buried in the wall, though to date there's no hard evidence of this. 6. Can you see the Great Wall of China from space? Contrary to popular rumor, you can't see the Great Wall of China from space with the naked eye. As NASA reported, however, photographs taken from the International Space Station under ideal conditions have depicted sections of the wall. 7. How many people visit the Great Wall of China? Every year, more than 10 million people flock to the Great Wall of China, making it one of the world's most popular tourist attractions. The Beidoling section sees the most visitors each year. It once received 100,000 visitors in one day. 8. Hiking the Great Wall One of the most popular hikes along the Great Wall snakes from the Janku section to the Ox Horn at Mutianyu. 
Here, unrestored sections of walls switch back and forth along steep mountain passes. Hikers should expect to spend up to four hours each way. Another good hike covers the section from Jinshanling to Simitai West a challenging route that covers four miles each way, and passes a series of watchtowers. Or, start at the Gubeku section of the Great Wall in Gubeku Town approximately 90 miles northeast of Beijing. From these quiet, never-repaired stretches of wall, visitors will find unobstructed views of the Yan Mountains before they descend to the Jinshanling section. 9. The Great Wall has faced erosion concerns over the years. After centuries defending dynasties, China's Great Wall has begun to crumble. Chinese state-run media has reported that nearly one-third of the walls have already disappeared. It's not just slow-moving erosion wreaking havoc on the wall the site has also succumbed to earthquakes and torrential storms. 10 Laws Protecting the Great Wall It's not just the immutable forces of weather and time that have destroyed the Great Wall of China. Alarmingly, 30% of the original structure has disappeared, largely because of mankind's endless meddling. In 2006, China passed the Great Wall Protection Ordinance, though the country has struggled to enforce any rules or regulations. Travelers should note that there are fines for taking bricks or other sections of the wall, and that it's inadvisable to pay locals for access to less traveled sections, as this puts even more, in regulated parts of the wall at risk of destruction. 11. Getting to the Great Wall from Beijing The beautiful Ming Dynasty portion of the Great Wall is around 50 miles from Beijing. But getting there can be a bit tricky for travelers making the trek solo. Visitors sticking with public transportation will first need to get to Dongjiman Station, where you can take an hour-long express bus ride to Wairu Station. Here, you'll need to transfer to a bus stopping at the Mutianyu Roundabout. The airport express connects directly from the Beijing Capital International Airport to Dongjiman Station. Subway lines also transfer to Dongjiman Station from the Beijing West Railway Station and Beijing South Railway Station. However, one of the most convenient and exciting ways to get there is by taking the train to Beidoling Great Wall Railway Station, also known as the world's deepest and largest underground high-speed railway station, which was completed in 2019. There are more than 10 pairs of high-speed trains that travel between Beijing and Beidoling Great Wall Railway Station, running from Beijing North Railway Station or Qing Railway Station.